Welcome to Electro Online. The next property we're going to look at is called the time differentiation property of Fourier transforms. In other words, if we have a function in the time domain and we want to take the Fourier transform of it, we get the function in the frequency domain. But then, if we want to take the Fourier transform of the time derivative of the original function in the time domain, what do we get? And we propose that when we do that, we take the Fourier transform of the derivative with respect to time of the original function in the time domain, we get the function in the frequency domain multiplied times j omega. So let's see why that is so. So we go starting from the beginning, we can say that f of t is equal to the inverse transform of the function in the time domain. So that's simply this in reverse, and of course the function in the time domain when we take the inverse transform of that, we get 1 over 2 pi times the integral from minus infinity to infinity of the function times e to the j omega t times d omega. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of both sides. We take the derivative with respect to time of f of t, we get f prime of t with respect to time. We do the same over here, and so that means that j and omega in the exponent here are just constants, and so when we take the derivative of that, j omega come outside the integral sign, and we have that still the 2 pi in the denominator, and now we have this function right here, or this integral right there. Now when we rewrite that one, we can say, well, this is equal to j times omega times the integral from minus infinity to infinity, of the function in the frequency domain times e to the j omega t d omega and divide the whole thing by 2 pi and we've done that for a special reason because after all this here represents what's inside the bracket represents the inverse Fourier transform of the, of the function in the frequency domain so in other words f prime of t then becomes equal to, we still have the j omega, and then here we can say we have the inverse Fourier transform of the function in the frequency domain. Now, if we take the Fourier transform of both sides, on the left side we get the Fourier transform of the function, the derivative of the function in the time domain, and that will then be equal to the Fourier transform of this, which means that this will be negated by taking the Fourier transform of it, and so you can write j omega times the function in the frequency domain. So you can see that, yes indeed, if you take the Fourier transform of a time domain function that we've taken the derivative with respect to time of, then you simply get the function in the frequency domain multiplied times j times omega. And that's what we mean by property 6, the time differentiation property of the Fourier transform.